Two Motorsports Radio's Weekend Edition, right here on the MR5 channel, uh, the home of Motorsports Talk, the best on the web, MotorsportsRadio.net, and in today's program, racing news, the racing uh, racing schedule, as we always do. Well, first we'll take a look at the Chase standings, the Motorsports Radio's Chase update. Uh, so uh, we have a fresh round of eight for a Sprint Cup Series and a fresh round of six for the Camping World Truck Series. So here it is, starting with the Camping World Truck Series round of eight. Uh, now we have Joey Logano and for now. Uh, all drivers right now have four thousand points. Okay, so again the points reset once again. Joey Logano in first place. Uh, Jimmy Johnson in second, Kevin Harvick in third, fourth, it's Matt Kenseth, Carl Edwards in fifth, Denny Hamlin in sixth, Kurt Busch in seventh, and Kyle Busch is in eighth place. Uh, and the four drivers that got cut, two surprising ones, Martin Truex Jr., Brad Keselowski, uh, then Austin Dillon, and Chase Elliott. Now, taking a look at what's going on with the uh, trucks. Uh, let's see here. We also got Xfinity Series, uh, standings too. We'll do the trucks, and then we'll go, hit, then we'll, first, and then we'll go to Xfinity Series. But, so, now the Cable World Truck Series, they're into a round of six now, so they, they have three more rounds, uh, excuse me, three more races in the last round, and then two more get cut, and then it's the round of four, which is the championship four, and all roads lead to Homestead in about four weeks, believe it or not. A very long season is coming, starting to wind down. Uh, so the uh, here it is. All right, the brand new round of six for the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. William Byron in first place. Second place is Christopher Bell. Uh, Timothy Peters in third place. Uh, Matt Crampton in fourth. Ben Kennedy in fifth. Johnny Sada in sixth. Now all trucks drivers in the round of six all have three thousand points. Two drivers get cut, Daniel Hamrick and John Hunter Nemechek. Now, just to review the Xfinity Series, which uh, doesn't have... They, they get their uh, elimination race on November 5th at Texas. And they get knocked out from 8 down to 4. Uh, but the round of 8 for the Xfinity Series, Elliott Sadler first place, Daniel Suarez in second place, both with 3,039 points, uh, Blake Cook in third place with 3,032, Justin Allgaier in fourth, Eric Jones in fifth, both with 3,027, Ryan Reed in sixth place at 3,025, uh, Brennan Gollin in seventh with 3,010, and uh, Daryl Wallace Jr., in uh, eighth place with three thousand and nine. Uh, Formula One top ten. Formula One heading to Mexico this weekend for the Mexican Grand Prix. Uh, first place is Nico Rosberg. Second place Lewis Hamilton. Daniel Ricciardo in third place. Uh, we also have Sebastian Vettel in fourth. Kimi Raikkonen in fifth place. Sixth place is Max Verstappen. Sergio Perez in seventh place. Valtteri Bottas in eighth. Nico Hulkenberg in ninth, and then we have uh, Fernando Alonso, who is in tenth. All right. Uh, so we have some racing news to talk about today, as we always do on Thursday. So we'll get right into that, and then we'll wrap up with this weekend's schedule, which uh, we're gonna, uh, should be some interesting racing this weekend if you're a fan of short track racing. And uh, <laughs> there's going to be some bumper cars out there. We got trucks out there uh, on Saturday afternoon uh, and then uh, Spring Cup Series on Sunday afternoon both at Martinsville so uh, we should have some fun times this weekend so uh, let's just start ladies and gentlemen most sports radios penalty update uh, let's get this of course there's one thing the 78 team uh, okay so we mentioned uh, last week uh, actually on Monday oh, here it is uh, 
the 78 team had a front jack bolt remo- uh, confiscated uh, from NASCAR before the start of last Sunday's race down in Talladega. Uh, and, and it was sent to the Research and Development Center uh, in uh, Charlotte. And uh, as, as promised, most sports radio was on it. And it turns out that it was nothing after all. <laughs> so there was no penalty for that. Now, why did they confiscate it? I don't know. Uh, tried to get some research information on it and uh, was unsuccessful. But uh, the front jack bolt, which was confiscated, uh, turns out that uh, there was no penalties for that. However, uh, the 78 team, along with the 5 team, uh, got written warnings. Uh, the 78 and the 5 failed pre-race laser inspection two times. 78 Truex Jr., the 5 Casey Kane. Uh, these two teams received warnings and penalties uh, were served at Talladega. Uh, the 32 and the 47 teams, uh, they get written warnings for failing pre-race template inspection uh, two times each. Uh, the 47, A.J. Elmendinger, and the driver of the 32 car on Sunday was Bobby Labonte. Uh, Labonte served his penalty at Talladega. Okay, as for the Campbell Truck Series, uh, drivers slash teams, I should really say teams, because when a penalty comes down, the whole team gets it, you know, unless the driver is speeding or something, but uh, other stuff, it's, it's a team, that's what it is, it's, it's the 78 team, the 22 team, the 14 team, They're, it, it's a team. Uh, so, uh, but the Camping World Truck Series, the 44 team failed pre-race heights and weights measurement inspection three times. Um... Uh, the 44 team receives written warnings. Uh, 44 driven by Tommy Joe Martins. Uh, and they lose 15 minutes of practice time this weekend at Martinsville. All right. Now, two, three other truck, uh, Campbell Truck Series driver teams. Uh, the 02, the 29, and the 19 teams also fail pre-race heights and weights inspection two times. Uh, the 0 2 Dylan Lupton, 19 Daniel Heimrich, 29 Tyler Reddick. Uh, so, uh, I was reading this thing online yesterday. Uh, you know, throughout the week, only looking, always looking for news and stuff. Uh, believe it or not, preparation for this show starts on Sunday. Uh, after we get all our race notes together for uh, the Motorsports Radio Breakdown, which we do on Monday, uh, everything starts getting prepared for this show on Sunday. Sunday all the way up until uh, pretty much the last minute <laughs> uh, sometimes. Um, but there was this thing, I think it was on, uh, now I forget where I found this, but uh, actually it was NASCAR.com, they had it. Uh, most wins per track. So the drivers with the most wins per uh, per track. Uh, so this little neat little list I found. So uh, they have it in alphabetical order here. Okay, but here it is. So the drivers with the most wins per, at each specific uh, venue, Atlanta Speedway, Dale Earnhardt with nine wins, and then Auto Club Speedway. It's Jimmy Johnson who has six. Auto Club Speedway. Uh, we just said that. Bristol, Bristol. Daryl Waltrip, uh, he has 12 wins. Uh, Charlotte, Jimmy Johnson with 8. Uh, Chicagoland, Tony Stewart with 3. Wow, that's, that's interesting. Uh, Darlington, David Pearson has 10 wins from Darlington. Uh, then we have Daytona. Daytona, if you want to take a look at guess on this one. Uh, and probably hardcore NASCAR fans have been Follow it since the beginning of time. Know this one. King Richard Petty has the most wins at Daytona with 10. Dover, Jimmy Johnson with 10. Uh, Homestead, two way tie. Tony Stewart and Greg Biffle both with 3. Uh, Indianapolis is Jeff Gordon with 5. Uh, Kansas, J- uh, another two way tie. Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson both with 3. Kentucky, Bert Keslowski. Uh, he has three wins. Jimmy Johnson in Las Vegas with four. And Martinsville, Dale Earnhardt with 15. Michigan, 15, man. There you go. Michigan, David Pearson, who has nine. New Hampshire, it's Jeff Burton with four. Phoenix, Kevin Harvick with six. Pocono, Jeff Gordon with six. Richmond, 
Richard Petty with 13. Sonoma Raceway, five wins by Je uh, Jeff Gordon. Uh, Talladega, Dale Earnhardt, 10 wins. Texas, Jimmy Johnson, six wins. Watkins Glen, Tony Stewart with five. Uh, and two tracks that are uh, no, no longer here. North Wilkesboro, Richard Petty, 15 wins. Uh, Rockingham, Richard Petty with 11. Although, I think, is North Wilkesboro still around? Yeah, uh, that's, a, that's a good question right there. But these are two tracks that NASCAR doesn't go to. I think Rockingham, they took down. But North Wilkesboro, I think, is still standing, I think. Don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. This is the home of Motorsports Talk, motorsportsradio.net. Thank you very much to all the listeners listening in. Uh, very, very excited. This is uh, this is a cool podcast here, and uh, racing is just fun. It's different from a lot of other sports shows, uh, and I listen to a lot of sports shows. Uh, and we have a good time here on Sports Radio. And if you want to interact, it's motorsportsradio.net. And uh, you can leave a message, comment right there on the Motorsports Radio fanfare. So here it is, Motorsports Radio's weekly report card. Information provided by NASCAR.com, our regular go-to source. Uh, Talladega Driver Grades. Uh, we just do ABCs, although there's A, B, C, D, and F. I don't want to mess around with D's and F's, cause you know. But we will stick it, make it simple. We'll do ABCs. But if you go to NASCAR.com, you can get this information. Uh, starting at the A column, we'll have uh, Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin, Kurt Busch, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Kyle Larson, uh, Kevin Harvick, Eric Amarillo. Ryan Blaney, Chase Elliott, Michael McDowell, all with A's. Uh, Brian Scott has an A plus, and AJ Almeninger has an A minus. In the B column, we have Paul Menard, uh, Landon Castle, and Chris Boucher with B's. And everyone else has B minuses. Here it is, Ryan Newman. Trevor Bain, Clint Boya, Jay McMurray, and Ryan Reed. And then for the C column, we have Greg Biffle, Danica Patrick, David Reagan, Reagan Smith, and Jeffrey Earnhardt with C's. Matthew Benedetto and Michael Annette have C pluses, and Bobby Levante with a C minus. And now for <clears throat> Motorsports Radio's Power Rankings Digest. <laughs> it's 1 through 16. Uh, number 1 is Kevin Harvick. 2, Jimmy Johnson. 3, Kyle Busch. 4, Joey Logano. 5, Denny Hamlin. 6, Matt Kenseth. 7, uh, Kurt Busch. Uh, Carl Edwards is number 8. Number 9 is Brad Keselowski. 10, Truex Jr. Uh, 11, Chase Elliott. 12, Austin Dillon. 13, Kyle Larson. 14th is Tony Stewart. 15th, Jamie McMurray. And number 16, it's Chris Boucher. All right, so we got some racing news here. Some more stuff. Uh, number 22 takes off from Pit. His pit stop uh, bring, brings the jack with it. Uh, Joe Logano is going for a full lap around with 2.6 mile Talladega Super Speedway. Then returns to Pit Road and... Uh, uh, they removed the jack, and uh, pit coach T uh, for Team Penske, uh, Trent uh, Cher Cherry, says, quote, the left side peg was set deep on the jack plate when the car dropped. On the left side, the peg slid off the back of the plate and got wedged in the jack. So, basically, the, the uh, jack got stuck when they dropped the car, and uh, the car took off with the jack. But at all those lessons, Jimmy Johnson uh, would go and win the Hellman's 500, also known as the Alabama 500. Uh, NBCSN on, sound, on Sunday after the race at Martinsville will be airing an hour-long uh, documentary titled NASCAR Seasons 2001, chronicling the 2001 season. Or documenting, I should say. Uh, from Dale Earnhardt Sr. to Dale Earnhardt Jr. Earnhardt Jr. contributes to the documentary as well. Uh, that's NASCAR Seasons 2001, uh, and that is airing on Sunday on NBCSN after Sunday's race. 
Now, here's some big news, which I think a lot of folks